Hey everyone, with the next season of Cobra Kai only months away, I thought I'd talk about another Karate Kid. And no, not this one, or this one, I'm talking about this guy. And you've probably never heard of him. So this guy is named Jason Stilwell, and he's from a 1986 movie called No Retreat, No Surrender, a movie that borrows a lot of elements from the Karate Kid movies. And that's part of the reason this movie didn't do so well. But I thought there was one thing this movie did better than the Karate Kid movies. It had a better main character. From the very beginning of the movie, we see that Jason has fighting potential. We see that his dad is a martial arts instructor and he learns from him at his school. This makes it more believable when he ultimately wins in the end. Daniel LaRusso, however, just gets a throwaway line saying he had a couple karate lessons at the YMCA. And then somehow we're supposed to believe that after a couple months of training, he's able to defeat karate champions that have been doing this for years. And Jason even has more interesting friends. Remember Freddy Fernandez? Probably not since he completely leaves the movie after Daniel gets beat up on the beach. Imagine if he stayed with Daniel throughout the rest of the movie, and as the movie progressed, you'd learn more about him and his personality. That's RJ from... So Jason has a more believable backstory and more interesting friends, but what about his teacher? Yeah, Mr. Miyagi is great and all, but what about, and I'm not joking here, the ghost of Bruce Lee? Yeah, Jason learns how to fight from Bruce Lee's ghost himself. I don't even know what else to say. If you're gonna learn how to fight, that's the person to learn it from. But what about the ending? In Karate Kid, Daniel has to fight this angry rich kid that's around his age. Who does Jason have to fight in the end? Jean-Claude Van Damme. The guy who inspired Johnny Cage. A guy who's probably around 10 years older than him, and he doesn't even use a cheap trick to sneak out a win. No, he earns his victory and proves that he is the superior fighter. So while Daniel LaRusso may have had the more successful franchise, I believe Jason Stilwell was the better Karate Kid. So thanks for watching. Like it if you liked it, subscribe if you really liked it, and I'll see you next time.